हेलो भावेश हेलो मैम हेलो हाउ आर यू फाइन मैम यस Yes. So now the video will start the plan. Can you hear me, Pavish? Mom, can you give me a minute? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. हेलो लक्षिता लक्षिता एम आई ऑडिबल लक्षिता शी इज कमिंग मैम वेट 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 फॉर वन मिनट मैम शी इज कमिंग ओके ओके मैम नो प्रॉब्लम हाय बावेश Hello, yes. So after a long time, I think we are meeting, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So why you didn't join for last PD class? I don't know how, but mm -hmm. I usually do not sleep in the evening times. Okay. Slept. Because PD class was there that made you to sleep. A table. A this a pad pen. Okay, Bhavesh. So, what about homework? What homework I gave? Do you remember? And I only remember, uh, like how to which which uh how to filter uh which way is better to filter it? T T yeah. De filtration or decantation? I did it, ma'am. Ma'am, today is math class. Ma'am, no? sorry to disturb you. Yes, ma'am. Actually, Max, madam, didn't come. She is on leave today, so madam, I will take science. But she is not attending science classes, right? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, I never saw Lakshita in science class. Yeah. So shall we quit, ma'am? No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you. ma'am. Okay. Yes, Bhavesh. So yes, we were talking about uh, last class was about. I'll open the last. Okay, no, 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 not this. We were talking about sieving method, sedimentation, decantation, and filtration, right? Yes, yes and I gave you some homework, like take a handful of stones, the, those activities we did in the class. And uh, you understood clearly, Bhavesh, what is what is mean by sieving, what is mean by filtration, what is mean by decantation, what is mean by sedimentation, everything, right? Yes, clearly understood, right? Because... This time I have set the objective paper coming Sunday objective paper such that if you are not understanding any concept one percent also you cannot answer it. Okay, the questions will be twisted and I have reduced the timing twenty minutes only this time. How many questions? Ten questions in twenty minutes. That is more than enough for you actually. Yes, ma'am. Yes, actually ten questions, ten minutes only. If you see because if you write like that only you will be trained for competitive examinations. In JE mains and neat examination, you they won't give you only sixty seconds for one question to think and write both. So thirty seconds for thinking, thirty seconds to write the answer. So you should uh, 
practice in such a way so in upcoming examinations i'll reduce your time to 15 minutes 10 minutes like that will reduce the time okay so i'll suggest you to read the question once twice and then answer it fine okay so today we will see i'll share the screen i hope you can see my screen right yes ma'am okay so separation of substances so i think we will take one more class to complete the this lesson separation of substances will complete in next class this class and next class i think we will complete right and, and tomorrow, after completing what and tomorrow's class mm, when is your next class when we are having next class no, i don't remember the Okay, so even I don't remember. Tomorrow is Friday. So I don't think so. We have some classes on Friday. I think we will meet meet on... And today is only Friday. Yeah, today only Friday, yes. So tomorrow we have one class. Saturday we have a class. Right. So tomorrow's class I'll complete this lesson. Separation of substances. And on Monday, you have class or not? No, right? Monday, no class. And Tuesday, again, we have class. On Tuesday, um, hey, Monday, class. we don't have class. Yeah, Monday, we don't have class. In timetable, it's not there. <laughs> okay. Uh, In oh. Tuesday, we have a class, right? In Tuesday's class, we will be having a full lesson test. Full lesson test, right? So, I'll be asking the no con. You, you you have to read the nook and corner of your book. Every nook and corner of your book. So questions can come at any uh, from any page, right? Your NCRT book you should read. Okay? You will be having a live test. Uh, I'll conduct in one uh, app. Like uh, that app is called a quiz, quiz website. I think so. Med, uh, yes, quiz med website something. I'll, I'll share the link. No problem. Menti, menti com. Yes. So in menti.com, you will have a live quiz. Okay. Full chapter quiz. Right. So today and tomorrow yes. will be. Yes. yes okay. On quiz means you're going to ask questions. Uh, no. It will be like, I'll tell you. So I'll already pre-prepare the question in the website. And I'll give this give button start button so that it is like a game quiz game. So questions will appear only you will have 15 seconds to answer a question or 10 seconds. Maybe I'll reduce the I'll make the time. Okay, 15 or 10 seconds. You have to give the answer, right? It's simply, you know, when a lot of people are there, it will be more good and interesting. But only you are there. Uh, so it won't be like first prize, second prize kind of. But it will be very helpful to know better about you, how how much you learned in this chapter, right? Am I audible? No. Okay. So, we'll go to today's lecture. So, today we'll, is lecture 5, separation of substances. So, today what we will see, I, I hope I gave this homework to you. Last class, define the difference between sieving and filtration. Did you do? I'm um, um, should we write or uh, tell? Yeah, you can tell. Now yeah. also. Mom, difference between what? Sieving and filtration. I, I, you see the screen I have written. Today we will see difference between sieving and filtration. You uh, also tell. Um, difference between sieving and filtration is was we use the, we use in the method of sieving we use a mechanism like uh, called sieve. Mm -hmm. To separate yes. solid, solid, uh, solid, and uh, slightly larger components, okay, and uh, fine components, okay. For so filtration, we use filter paper, funnel, okay. and a tube. The filter okay. paper uh, is you is used for uh, like. Uh, like uh, use it for stopping uh, insoluble substances mm -hmm. from liquid, and the liquid will go through the like some tube or tube or something. 
cube and gets connected by the beaker at the bottom. Okay. So, so the dif the real difference is, ma'am, the filtration will the filtration will separate insoluble substances and liquid, but the sieving method will separate solid particles and fine particles. Very good, very good, very nice. So yes, whatever you have given is a gist. Just in the sense, the main point you told me. This is filtration, this is sieving. That's very, very good, impressive. So we will see more about. So I'll be sharing you a tabular column also. You have to note it down in your notebook, okay? And also listen to the class as well as note it down or else I'll post in the resources. After that, you can note it down. That is very important. So after that, we will see brief about difference between sieving and filtration. And we'll see about evaporation. That's very easy. And we will see salt obtaining method. We won't go very much deep into salt obtaining method. Okay. Just a glimpse. But uh, because that's higher level, how they uh, obtain the common salt and all. And then we'll see some activities, some good activities. Right. And then we'll come to your homework. So I hope you can see the screen. Yes, ma'am. So yes. So what is the difference between filtration and sieving? I'll explain you each and everything. We'll take first criteria. So there is something called criteria and filtration and sieving, right? So criteria. What criteria, based on what criteria you can separate, sorry, you can find the difference between filtration and sieving. First criteria is mechanism. What is mechanism definition? Okay. Define filtration, define seeing. What is filtration? Learn, uh, read the line carefully. Fluid passes through a porous medium, trapping solid particles based on size. For example, filtering tea dust from tea, right? That's an example for filtration. Fluid passes through a porous medium. The porous medium can be anything. For example, filter paper. For example, if I want to filter sand mixed with what water, Okay, sand particles mixed with water. What can I do? I can filter them using filter paper, right? Or I can use a filter also, filter like a normal coffee filter. We can use. So, fluid passes through a porous medium, trapping solid particles based on size. That is filtration. So, when you come to sieving, mixture of particle is passed through a sieve or screen with uniformly sized opening. Right. So what is sieving? You have seen the sieve. I have told you the floor sieve the, where you will separate the dust from wheat floor, rice floor. Right. So mixture of particle is passed through a sieve. Sieve is something that I have shown you in the last class. It will be used for uh, separating the dust particles from wheat floor. Wheat floor. And even uh, farmers do some. Yeah. Farmers use something and cement, they will, you know, uh, the building construction sites, they will have, uh, I'll show you if you want them. Uh, you know, in construction site. Mom, you mean that carrier? Uh... I hope you can see my screen. See, oh, I can see Firefox. Construction site. Yeah. See, uh, I hope you saw it. See, have you seen this? In construction sites, they use this, right? And it's, a, it's even in your uh, textbook also. Yeah, yeah. It is. It will be even in your textbook also. I'm just showing you more pictures so that you'll understand better. So why they will use this? So we will see all. See, here, sieves are used at construction sites to separate pebbles and stones from sand, right? We need pure sand, right? To build, the con to build any construction, we need pure sand, fine cement, finely made cement powder and brick. You know now how to construct. They'll mix sand, cement. They'll put brick and they'll attach it. Right? Am I right, Bavish? Yes, so, if you have pebbles and stones in that, no, it is it is an impurity. So, we need fine sand, like desert sand, fine sand we need. We have some stones and pebbles. We need to separate them. So, we use sieve. This sieve, whatever sieve that we are seeing, we use this. So, this may come in your exam. Sorry, your question, like in your exam. So, this sieve we use so that you can see here fine particles of sand particles are getting drained here. And they are taking away the pebbles and large size stones, right? See, that is what. 
So that is sieving. So what is filtration? Fluid passes through a porous medium. You can take fluid. Uh, fluid. So as you said, one very good point you only told me. Madam, in filtration, you can do liquid particle filtration. But in sieving, you cannot do that, right? So that is a main mechanism. What is mechanism? Filtration and sieving. What is the difference between them? Here, the fluid is playing the main part, main point in filtration. In sieving, mixture of particles, that is solid particles are playing the main role, right? So yes. next criteria is particle size range. This is very, very important. Why I'm telling you particle size range is the one confusing factor. They can ask you a question from here because it's a confusing factor. For filtration and sieving, it's a confusing factor. Why? See here, particle size range. For filtration, effective for separating particles of various sizes, depending on the pore size of the filter medium. So whenever you talk about filtration, it always depends on the filter medium pore size. You know, what is what? You, can you understand the line pore size of the filter medium? What is pore size of the filter medium? Do you understand that line? Pore size. No? You can or you cannot? I can't understand. Okay, what is mean by pores? First of all, the word pore is, means holes. Holes, small, small holes. We call it as pore. What is mean by pore? Small, tiny holes are called as pores. So if you see, I'll again show you. I hope you, still you can see my screen. If I show you some picture, you will be understanding. See, see pores. So see, can you see? Uh, so this, you can tell this as a pores. Our skin has tiny holes. You know or, or don't know. We Our skin has tiny holes. From there only now we are getting hair. Hair is growing, right? Right? Yes. Hair is growing. How the hair is growing in our skin? Because we have tiny, small, tiny pores. From where hair growth is seen. And we are getting sweat, right? We are getting sweat. How we are getting sweat? The the sweat is secreted by the skin. The skin is having small, small holes. That's why you know, sweat is coming out, right? Right? So, small, small holes are called as pores. See? Pores in filter paper. So, if you see particularly in filter paper, see here. So, this is the filter paper. Can you see? This this one gives you good example. See, this is the holes. Can you see? That is the filter paper. Can you see the holes, Bavesh? Bavesh? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you are hearing me, right? Ma'am, I can hear you. Yes, you are understanding, right? What I am trying to say. Are you listening? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, fine. So, see this picture. I hope you can see the picture. So, this is the, uh, you know, uh, bigger view of filter paper. You can say filter paper. Bigger view. This is a filter paper. Normally, the filter paper looks like a normal paper. This is a, this is a filter paper. So, as you said, this is a beaker. This is a filter aid. And this is a suspension residue. And you are pouring the water, right? So, this is the, this picture is the, uh, what to say uh, zoomed picture zoomed picture so filter paper will look like this only so the holes can you see this normal not the red balls i'm telling about the holes can you see the holes yes ma'am so those are pores those are called as pores okay the small holes are called as pores can you see the red balls are getting stuck on the holes but the blue balls, blue balls are very, very small when compared to red balls. But the blue balls are going inside the holes, but the red balls are getting stuck in the holes, right? Yes, ma'am. This is called as filtration process, right? Right? Yes, this is filtration. So the red balls are getting filtered, getting separated from the blue balls, right? So now, now you see this. Now you will understand this. What is particle size? Effective for separating. So when you can use filtration. Filtration is effective if you want to separate the particles of different sizes. Okay. Like, like you can say uh, different sizes. For example, tea, tea dust. Tea dust separated from the tea. Tea liquid. So tea dust is somewhat bigger in size. But liquid is liquid, liquid. So you are separating a solid from the liquid, right? Yes, ma'am. 
so various sizes the size is completely different the state of state is still completely different you are separating solid from the liquid so if that is the case you can use filtration right as i said effective for separating particles of various sizes depending on the pore size of the filter medium means what if the filter paper or like filter filter medium here you can take filter medium as filter paper what is mean by filter medium filter medium I means filter paper filter for example i want to separate sand from water look okay, sand and water mixed okay imagine sand and water mixed together i want to separate them i am using a filter paper here filter paper is the medium okay filter paper is the medium so I'm now i am telling this. you yes I'm yes here. Yes, that's what you also said. So, filter paper is a medium. I, I'm, I'm giving you next one. So, I want to separate tea dust from tea, liquid tea. So, here I'm using a normal coffee filter you have in your home, right? We have a normal tea filters in, in our home. So, oh, that stain. only... We... Yeah? Um, stainer, yeah. Stainer. Yes, stainer. Yeah, you can, you can say tea strainer. So, here what is the filter medium? Ma'am, tea strainer. Very good, very good. Now we understood. Pore, what is the pore size of filter medium means what? The um, whole pore size. Means uh, whole size. Yes, whole size of the filter medium. Now I'm telling you, now have you ever noticed, do, there is a two different kinds of strainers. One is used for uh, straining the milk from the uh, milk. Uh, you will see something called over the milk, right? Some some layer. And milk gada? Yeah, yeah. That one. So we'll say yedu. We'll say yedu. So that one. If you want to filter that from milk, you will use normal tea strainer, right? Yes, ma'am. And if you want to filter tea from the tea powder, you will use normal tea strainer. But you will be uh, noticing one thing. If uh, in juice shops, they will use different kind of filter. The juice filter will not be equal to tea strainer. They, they will be different, right? Yes, ma'am. Have you yeah. noticed or you don't know? Um, I even, I think, no, I don't You don't know? I don't know. Okay, then wait a minute. So, from next time, if you go to juice shop, you observe this, okay? See, juice filter. I hope you would have seen, maybe you don't know. So, like this only juice filter will look. Juice filter will look like this. Like this. Exactly like this. Have you seen this? This juice Mom, filter. We have that. Mom, we yeah. have that. This is the tea strainer. This is the tea strainer, right? This is a normal tea strainer, but the juice strainer will be like this, right? And we have that. Both you have or only one you have? This one you have in your home, Mom, right? Both yes, so this is for this is used for juice, but we will see tea filter. This is actually tea filter. See, this is tea filter. You both you have, right, in your home? Yes, ma'am. So, what is the difference between them, Bavesh? Can you see any difference? Um, one will separate tea leaves and one will separate tea juice. Juice, okay. So, why we have different things? Both are liquids. We are going to separate them from a solid. In juice, while preparing juice, we are separating them from juice residues. In tea, we are going to separate them from tea dash. So, why we need different kind of filter? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Both are having different pore sizes, right? Yes, ma'am. Have you seen like, uh, you know, you have to zoom and see if you have both kind of, uh, you know, if you have both kind of uh, filters in your home, I'm, I'm asking you to take and come for a while. Just two minutes, spend it and take and come now, now. Okay, ma'am. Yes, two minutes, come.
Yaşma. Yes, can you hear me, Babesh? Yes, show to me. Huh. So uh, this is, yeah. Um, this, can you can you um, just speak? Yeah. yeah. And this is juice strainer. Yes. Now observe it very carefully. The pore size in the juice strainer is bigger or smaller? I'm bigger. See the tea strainer, the pore size. I'm smaller. Very good. So that is the whole point I'm trying to make here. The pore size is something. Can you now feel what is mean by pore size? Like a pore size really makes difference, right? We use a, a filter with a large pore size for making juice. But in the tea, we need fine tea without any one tea powder also, right? So we are using more fine. So what is the conclusion here? When you make the filter with small pore size, you will get fine filtering, right? The logic, can you, can you connect the logic? When you have fine pore size, very, very small pore size, your filter rate will be more pure, right? When you have large pore size, your filter rate may not be pure. Some impurities will come, right? Yes, this is the conclusion that you need to have. One minute. I'll share the screen again. So, yes. So, now, see, particle size. Effective for separating of various sizes depending on the pore size of the filter medium. But in the sieving, you see in the sieving side, primarily used for separating particles based on size. Typically, larger particles are retained on the sieve while smaller particles pass through. If you observe very keenly in filtration, what we are doing? In filtration, for example, uh, you are going to filter some sand water and sand will be residue and water is going to get separated from the sand. But in the sieve, we are separating sand from the impurities, right? The fine particles are going down. Sand is a fine particles. For example, in sieving, you can take uh, separating the sand from pebbles and small stones. So fine particles of sand is getting down through the sieve. And if you take a separating wheat floor or rice floor from small stones, do you remember the last class we spoke about that? I'm sorry? Yes. Uh, I'm we, sorry. Last, last class we spoke about wheat floor or rice floor get, uh, through the sieving method. We'll separate them from the stones. Yes. Right? Yes. So that is what is happening. The fine particles are getting through the sieve and the filter rate is what? Is getting on the sieve only so whatever that we are on the sieve that is a waste particle whatever we are getting down the fine one is the useful particle right so primarily used for separating particles is based on size typically large particles are retained on the sieve while small particles are passing through right but here it is it is it can be both so what is the difference it can be both so some for example you are taking filtration filtering the tea from the tea dust can you give any other example for filtration other than that yes any other example yes Bavish. i don't just know just think just think any anything I'm 
can I say juice? Yeah, you can. You can say juice. Juice, you filter, juice filter. and uh, solid pulps. Yeah. yeah, solid pulps. Yes. So that is a filtration, right? So yes, that is that is a particles. Do you understand the particle size range in filtration? We use liquids also. This is an important point. We use liquids also to separate from the solid, but in sieving we never use both are solid particles. Both are larger particles. I mean, both are of almost same particles, right? Yes, ma'am. So fluid involvement. So next criteria we'll see about fluid involvement involves a fluid medium, liquid or gas passing through the filter medium. So, involves a fluid medium, liquid or gas passing through the filter medium. So, can you give me one example where gas can be filtered? Um, I never saw gas getting filtered. So, we have big, big industries. So, this is actually, I also don't know much, uh, I'm not aware of that much industrial uh, examples, but I have heard this. Gas filtration. So, where gas filtration is important, you know, uh, uh, the industries are there. You will be hearing about industries uh, emit harmful gases that are harmful for the environment, right? Maybe I think I know someone. Yes, um, tell me. Car um, carbon dioxide and will convert, get, con get filtered into oxygen. Yeah, so like that. Some um, conversion there, yes? Um, does it come? Yeah, yeah, that is that is the count. Yeah, we can count that. That's what I am also telling. So larger industries are there. They emit harmful gases. So government has passed one bill that there is some a percentage of uh, harmful gases only should come. So rest all gases, they should filter and send. They should filter the gas and send so that harmful particles get filtered. Only nice particles will go. So filtration will apply for liquid, gas, solid, right? But sieving, no fil no liquid, no gas, only solid, right? Right, so, understood? Filtration yeah. will be applied for liquid uh, gas as well. But sieving, no, only for particles, that is for solids. So if you see purely mechanical process, no fluid medium involved in the sieving. Can you see the sieving part? purely mechanical process no fluid medium involved but in fluid movement if you see filtration involves a fluid medium we are separating now normally if you take p solid from good as we said we are lagging lagging yes Gas filtrations is also available in the filtration but in the sieving no it's not possible so common application So, uh, see, one more also I got from the book. Uh, vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Every time a vacuum cleaner runs, it passes a stream of dust-filled air through the filtering bag inside the machine. Do you know how the vacuum cleaner uh, works? You know, you know, right, how vacuum I, cleaner works? Only so I they're telling. I'm the only yes. thing about vacuum cleaner is that they suck stuff. Yes. Yeah, it's actually it, it uses vacuum. It uses vacuum to take away all the dust particles. Right? So they are telling filter is after you know you what we see vacuum cleaner using vacuum, it is sucking the dust particles. Am I right? Yes, what is actually happening in the vacuum cleaner? It creates air and the dust particles are mixed with the air. Right? And then it will filter the dust particles in a bag, right? Yes, ma'am. Actually, what it is doing, it's separating the dust particles from the air, right? Va what is vacuum? Vacuum is strong pressure. Air pressure, if it is more air pressure, creating the high air pressure is nothing but vacuum. There is no air. Uh, if, for example, flight is also making a vacuum, so that only it is flying, right? Flight is also making vacuum through the motors. That's why we are flying, right? If there is a vacuum, we will all fly. If there is no air, we can't be here, right? Sure. So what actually vacuum cleaner is doing, the process of mixing the dust particles, sucking the dust particles, mixing with the air and filtering the dust particles from the air and uh, storing in the bag, right? So we will uh, we will also see the process of vacuum cleaner at the end of this class. 
so that is the fluid movement so common applications like water water purification air filtration separation of solids from liquids or gases so these are the common usage in saving if you see grading or separating granular materials particle size analysis in industries like agriculture mining and formative formative we will use formaticals right clear with this uh, tabular column bhavesh yes ma'am very important ma tabular column Yes. By the way, where are you going to send that uh, table? I'll send in resources. Wise up. Where? Wise up. Wise up under resources. Under resources column. Yes, I'll I'll now upload. I'll show you while uploading. I'll upload so that you can find it there, right? So see, add two spoons of salt to water in a beaker and stir it well. So listen, listen this activity, Bhavish. Add two spoons of salt to water in a beaker and stir it. Do you see any change in the color of water? Yes, Bhavesh. Do you see any change I in the color? Of... Think, uh, no. No, you can't see. I think no. You can. See... Yeah. Okay. Fine. Can you see any salt in the beaker after stirring? Oh, I can see salt at the down of the. No, you you stir it very well so that you cannot see any color of the water also, right? So it means the salt has been completely dissolved in the water, right? Yeah, but uh, is you stir in a such a way that salt are get fully getting dissolved. No salt is remaining in the water, right? Fine. Yes, ma'am. Yes, understood. See, add two spoons of salt in the water and beaker and stir it well. They asked you to stir it well. It means what? The salt will get dissolved in the water till that you should stir. Okay. After dissolving, they are asking you to see any change in the color of water. Obviously, no. Okay. So, can you see any salt in the beaker after stirring? They are asking. No, right? No. So, heat the beaker. Now, you have to heat the beaker containing the salt water. Okay. Heat the beaker. Let the water boil away. Okay, till the full water boils away completely. What is left in the beaker? Nothing. 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 Yeah. Will you do this activity in your home? I'm sorry. Again, can you say? You do this activity in your home. Okay. I will tell you the result now. But still I am telling you, do this activity in your home. This will be your homework. Okay. I want to do and see what's happening. Okay. Um, I need to use an electrical drizzle to do that mixing. Instead of beakers and all, you can use... No, no. Instead of beakers and all, you can use normal tumbler, normal vessels also. Fine. Yes? Can you do that? Okay, right will you do okay okay now let's see the process of yes actually you know this process is called so the process of converting water into vapor is called evaporation right the process of conversion of water into vapor is called evaporation so in the before activity what we are actually doing and we are evaporating yes. the water. Ah, so you can see water vapor, right? When you boil the water, you can see water vapor. So you are converting the water into its vapor form. Into That is basically you are converting a liquid into so, uh, gas form. Right? Yes, ma'am. Liquid into gas form. You are converting a liquid into gas form. So that is called as evaporation, right? Can you give me one example where first... See, listen it very carefully. You give me one example where first solid converts to liquid and liquid converts to gas. Any any process or example. Um, can you tell it again? Uh, you are lagging at that time. Okay. Uh, now can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Give me one example where a solid is turned into liquid. That solid state is converted to liquid state and liquid state is further converted to gaseous state. One thing that can that can be there in all the three forms, solid state, liquid state, gas state. One one particular thing in this whole world can be in all the three forms. What is that? Evaporation? Uh, no. Water. H2O. Right? Oh. 
water when you keep in freezer it is becoming solid and becoming as ice cubes solid state right right yes. and if you take the ice cube outside the freezer and keep it at the room temperature it is becoming liquid state right yes. and take the liquid and burn in the flame burn in the gas stove it is becoming into gaseous state it is evaporating right yes ma'am so water is the only thing again you can take the vapor and condense them and make them water again right yes ma'am are you understanding yes ma'am yeah now whatever i told you explain me back um you told that uh, water can change into uh, uh, liquid yeah. form gas form and solid form all the three yes 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 all the three first yes. you told when when we freeze the water it's going to turn into ice yes. when we when we heat the ice is it will turn into its normal form again then we are go then you told that when we boil it in the flames yes. have, it will turn into water vapor yes so it turned into gas state again you know you would have observed one more thing so while mother cooking something the thing she will close with the lid right for example um, i know that i already know that ma'am she is preparing yeah. rasam you close the lid um, so, she, yeah i like, prepare idlis mm -hmm. i open it to see them yes. and uh, and when i see them some mm -hmm. liquid will drop on to me yeah the, so what is that that is called condensation right you cooling process so the water vapor is going and meeting the steel steel of the idli idli one idli the idli wala and that getting cooled so it is it is hitting it hitting the roof and again turning into liquid right yes ma'am so if you take rain how rains are coming two clouds are uh, yes and this whole process uh, will start will uh, end with uh, raining yes that's called precipitation yeah precipitation precipitation is something like uh, the the precipitation the water dropping in the atmosphere you're lagging. watering you're lagging. hello am i audible and you're lagging so also and now you are uh, uh, audible but you're lagging when okay. you're expecting okay so i was telling you like idli vapor one you understood right yes ma'am yes 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 that is what i was telling you telling you so this is the process of so my internet connection is unstable okay so the process of evaporation takes place continuously wherever water is present where do you think salt come from um salt comes from uh, i don't know you don't know okay so the process Maybe of salt water salt water is yes. obviously salt come from sea actually where we are getting our common salt you know we are taking it from sea water sea water ocean water right uh, yes am i to oh, yes ma'am you don't know okay so i don't know the take like i never i never know where the salt comes from. salt come from sea water remember this okay sea water is salty am i right yes ma'am salt present in the sea water right no i i don't think so any sea water is fresh water without salt right yes ma'am we take the salt from ocean water or the sea water with some certain things so that is why i told you to do that activity take a take a tumbler or take a glass mix the salt two spoons of salt take a water mix them mix them in the water stir it well so that they dissolve completely heat the salt water you know what you will observe after eating completely you will observe salt stained under the bottom of the uh, bottom of the vessel you will see the salt um, it's going to mean we are going to we are going to like take some sea water uh, into some i don't know any yes. fat or something and boil yes. to flames yes and we will do this process of normal heating them 
so that salt so in sea water not only common salt that is whatever salt we are using for our uh, thing is uh, iodine right not iodine i uh, yeah salt common salt we are using iodine salt we are taking in iodine salt but not only iodine salt will be present in the ocean magnesium salts will be there iron salts will be there lot of salts will be there so we need only iodine salt right so there is some certain process also to separate different kind of salts right yes ma'am so we will we will see how to separate different kind of salts from the sea water in the next class now i will complete this okay so we have to three more four more slides we will see that in the next class okay bavish yeah. it's already time up 20 minutes so 10 minutes more we have gone so what is your homework Go and do this activity in your home. Um, to boil the salt water like that. Yes, yes this add two spoons of salt in the water. This one, okay. Ma'am, ma'am, are you, ma'am? Do teachers send uh, homeworks to mail? Like no, in in group, in group, we send in group. So ask your mother or father; they may be knowing. Ma'am, I don't. Know. Mom, my parents also don't know. See, see, see. See, this is the WhatsApp, okay? So, you're sixth standard, right? Yes, ma'am. You, you belong to success, right? So, there is something called CT6S. Can you see this? See my screen, WhatsApp screen? Yes, ma'am. There is some group called CT6S. See? CT6S. So, from here, there only you have. See, your parents are also members of this group. I have saved. Uh, your parents are also members of this group. Okay, so here only daily, see, I have uh, told to join the class also. Here only daily they will post all the homeworks and all. See, I have told dear children, join the class at 4.30, right? Here okay. only we will post it. So I, I told you very good, Bavesh, also for your exams. You saw the all these? No, ma'am. No, see, see, no, see, see, I am no. I have told my students join the class and I pro I will post the homework also now here in this group. See, remember C T success. Okay. You will be there in this group. Your parents are there in this group, I know. Okay. No. Yeah, here I'll post the homework. You can see the homework if you forgot also. Okay. Okay. No. This homework I'll post it. Okay, fine. And do this activity in your home. Don't forget and see salt is getting strained or not. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye.